Hi Sagittarius, this is Sha, and um, you've got the um, Celtic heart, and that is pretty um, significant. Okay, and I hope you are all well, and I hope you will enjoy this week because it's Valentine. Some of you might not celebrate Valentine, and others just do it for fun. Okay, well, have a good Valentine anyway. I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot. And I'm using the Wildwood Tarot, and that is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and the overall energy. I have also got the extra card because of Valentine's Day, and that is the Angel Romance deck. Then I've got Surrender, Angel Feather, and the Inspiration deck from Wayne Dyer. And he was like a, a philosopher or a prophet, some I think he's really great. He was a great man. And we've got the Witch's Oracle. And you're the only one that got this card. I'm sorry you are last, but not the least. Okay, my darlings. So let's get started. And um, I hope you will enjoy this reading. Remember that this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And I've got another bit of news. My website is up and running, but I still have to cross the T and dot the I's. And it's not perfect, okay? But go and have a look. The address is below in the description box. And let me, have, let me know what you think of it. And read the information. There's also different readings on offer. Okay. Um... Let's get started. For Monday, you have the Ace of Vessels. That's the Ace of Cups. So there might be a new love coming in. And this could be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. And there could be a new passion or a passion can also be work. A vocation, that's a calling to a something that you're passionate about and that you love to do. So there could be a new beginning in something that you love to do. Or you might be nurturing something, a hobby, or a child, or a new pet. So there might be extensions in the family. You might also be very sensitive at the moment, because we do have the moon sign. And this is the sign for water and uh, the water signs are known to represent the moon, uh, especially Pisces, um, and uh, that they're, they're spiritual, they're sensitive, and they can be quite emotional, especially around full moons. And we've just had the full moon in Leo. On Wednesday, you have the king of vessels. That is an eel, and that is the king representing the king of cups. So, like I said, you might be meeting a cups, there might be a new beginning with somebody that is a water sign. This could be a man, but it could also be a woman that has masculine talents, like steadfastness, uh, career orientated. She knows she, what she wants. She, she, can be, she can act like the head of the family. But let's take it, it's a man because it is a king. Okay, he, he is also a very loving, nurturing, passionate, sensitive, handsome man. Okay, he might be electrifying. Okay, but he knows how to keep his emotions under control. But he is a sensitive sort. On a Friday, you have the king of stones. So that is good news. That's the king of pentacles. Everything you touch will turn to gold. And he's the wolf. He, he is strong as anything. And he goes for what you want. He goes for what he wants. And um, he turns it into richdom, richness. Because he's got the midas touch. Okay. So anything that you touch today, Sagittarius, will turn out to be fruitful and to turn round into positivity, into gold. 
not literally. Then on Saturday and Sunday, you have the hanged man. And the hanged man means it is time to do a retreat or take a time out. So perhaps you're going away at the weekend because your investment has come to fruition and you've plucked the fruit. So you might be going away. But the hanged man also means delays, okay? It means delays from four hours, four days, four weeks to four months. So there might you might have started investment. It will turn out into gold, but it might take now to four months that it bears fruit because you've got the hanged man lying next to it. So it could be delays or something is pending. Okay. So take note of that. And it is also a very spiritual card. And since you've got two water cards, you might be very sensitive and spiritual, like I said. So you might be taking time out to meditate or sit quietly and evaluate situations at hand or questions at hand. She's she's holding her hand up and it looks like a crystal ball but i think it is the moon you know where you can take a picture uh, and you're standing in front of the eiffel tower and you're lying on your back on the stone somewhere in front of the uh, eiffel tower you can make it seem or hold your hand up as if the eiffel tower is standing on your hand that is in uh, illusion so be careful that you won't that you don't get uh, uh, illusioned, uh, illusions, okay, or disillusioned, yeah, whilst something is in delay. Remember, it is not in ego's time it works, man-made time, it is working, the time is set to the divine time. So, you might be disillusioned because something that you wanted is not coming to fruition. It will, in good in good time everything needs to mature and grow and blossom before you can harvest it you will harvest it because you've got the seven of stones and that is healing in this deck yes you need to heal you need to take time out for yourself and evaluate and see what you can leave behind to lighten your load and what is of no use to you anymore and what you can take with you that is of use, like knowledge, life experience, so that you can turn and keep on turning everything into gold. And in the normal tarot deck, the Seven of Pentacles is what you sow, you shall reap. That's why I can say with a guaranteed heart that what you have done and what you've started will turn into gold. For the Surrender deck, we have surrendered to full power. You are a fire sign and wow, you got the lion. And in the tarot, the normal tarot deck, it, that lion means uh, is, represents power. Power and strength. So surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So think big, it's going to happen. You've got the meter touch. And from the angel feather, we have the magneta angel feather. It's like a cyclamen pink. Essence of an entrepreneur. You can definitely be an entrepreneur. You are creative. You are very brainy. A lot of Sagittarius that I know like to work for themselves and have high goals and are ambitious. The angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic. They believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. And pink is also the color of the heart chakra, like green. And you've got the healing card. So I think your heart is also healing about something. Okay. Now, from the Inspiration Deck Sagittarius, we have spent a few moments with God. If you don't believe in God, spend a few moments alone with the angels and the universe. The hanged man, 
So you have, there is a warning here, but you have to take it easy and rest and meditate and evaluate or sit quietly and evaluate the steps that you are going to take to cut down the delays and you have to heal from the past. If you've lost your job and you've applied for a job, you will be getting a job within shortly. Before beginning your day, spend some time with the universe or God during the early morning. When you wake up, say to yourself, these are my few moments with God or the universe. In these moments, reflect like the hanged man. Feel the peace and most important, extend your gratitude. So spend a few moments with God. Now you've got the Celtic hearts and I will read to you a little bit of history or culture, the meaning and then the meaning of the card itself. Hearts have always been used as a symbol to refer to the spiritual, emotional and moral core of a human being and are most commonly used as symbols representing love, which, as we all know, takes many forms. The Celtic heart is formed from one continuous line, representing the union of souls in a visual continuity of continuing faith and love as one travels through the journey of life. As we journey through the daily lives we sometimes take for granted or pay no attention to the love that surrounds us. This includes love on the mundane level from family, spouse, children and friends to the unconditional love of a pet to the love we receive from our loved ones across the veil. That's in heaven. And the love, and the love the universe sends our way. Sometimes we need to stop and remind ourselves of the blessings we receive every single day in the form of love that gives us strength to carry on, that warms our hearts and energizes us. Place this card over your heart chakra in the center of your chest. This is the love center of our human energy system. Draw its energy into you. Well, you can get a picture of internet, Sagittarius, and you can hold it against your heart, all right? And let it energize you. And draw the energy from the Celtic cross. The incantation that you can do, Sagittarius, is the touch of a hand, the smile of an, on a face, the twinkle of an eye, a loving embrace. These are the feelings that help us to thrive the small acts of love that keep us alive. So if you, um, if you have not spoken to somebody for a while, send them a message, especially on Friday, it's Valentine's Day. Let, some, let your friends and family know that you love them. Now, for your love uh, card, um, Sagittarius, we have past life relationships. You have known each other before. This could be somebody that you are hooked up with and you might have an aha moment and feel their love as the love as you have known them before. So open your heart, my darling. That's the pink chakra. You can wear pink, you can eat pink fruit or red fruit, and, of course, um, meditate on the pink. And pink means love and relationships, compassion, 
service, faithfulness, harmony and honour. The angel that goes with the pink feather is Archangel Shamuel. So call upon Archangel Shamuel to open up your heart and to guide you to do right and to get the right information when you sit in peace and you meditate or just sit quietly and let the ideas come in. Listen to your intuition. Settle down those emotions. Don't be too emotional. Be the king. He's got his emotions under control. Okay? There is a new love coming in. This could be a new pet, a new partner, a new passion for a job or a hobby. I hope you enjoy your week. So take care my Sagittarius and remember I go live every day and join us. If you're new then join us as well and we, we, our family is growing rapidly. It's beautiful and thank you. You're welcome new people uh, and hope to be hope to meet you in the life so you will get your cyber wings or cyber. You'll be a cyber angel then and thank you my cyber angels for your faithful following. I'm really grateful without you it wouldn't be the channel that it is. It's our channel and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for supporting the channel and ma making it thrive and come alive. Yahoo! I love you all so please share with family and friends. Take care and God bless. See you tonight. Have a beautiful week.